I'm trying to get a little breeze going. Little <laughs> <more market today. laughs> Is this your sixth camp? I was looking at it. This first my one fifth. was in 13? It was my fifth. My yeah, fifth. okay. Yes, sir. All right. What is, is it a little bit wistful to know that it's it'll be your last one? I mean, I'm not even thinking about it like that. I'm just thinking about um, it's another opportunity to get better out here with my teammates, and I'm excited. Um, right now, as I was, my, for my first one, so I'm excited just to be out here. It's a blessing just to be healthy and to be able to move around. I was excited to be out here my first day. What, what were you able to get done today as a team, do you think? Progress forward, um, getting back into foot more football shape. You know, we've been working real hard this offseason, um, training and strength and conditioning and stuff like that, but just getting back into Coach Kelly's tempo shape, I'd say. How did this offseason shape up compared to other ones that you've experienced? How, how was it different? Everything was calculated. It's more scientific um, with the data database that they, you know, use from our uh, QRT testing to, you know, everything that we do is um, calculated for and have a plan for everything that we do. And, um, they're very organized, I shall say. So that was the biggest difference. What, what is QRT? Can you explain it? Um, it's basically like a when you at your uh, fullest like recovery time, I guess you say we go in the room and turn the lights off for like three minutes. Uh, we got a heart rate monitor on. We train in the off season with a uh, heart rate monitor on and a um, GPS system. You can see different speeds and just if somebody's heart is beating too fast or if they uh, one day you run it real fast and the next day you know you're not. You know what's the what's the problem? So you see that. What was, you role, uh, what was your role in facilitating some player run practices as kind of this one of the main seniors on this team? Um, just getting everything squared away, making sure the defense was being ran uh, the correct way, the way the coaches wanted it to be ran, and um, getting bringing the younger, younger guys along. You know, the freshmen are here now, and it was a process. It was on us really to install the defense, well, the beginning of the defense well, from what we learned in the spring to them. So uh, they met with the coaches, you know, from time to time, but the coaches was uh, on vacation and out the office. So it was on us. I know I had the secondary, Josh Woods and Chris Barnes had the linebackers and Rick Wade and some of the other guys, you know, had to be lined. So um, that was mainly the main thing with those OTA practices that we had. How do you think they went? I think they uh, went well. I mean, from what I saw today, it seemed like, you know, everybody understood the concept of, um, what we were trying to get accomplished, and it wasn't, you know, starting from day one. You know, nobody knows what they're doing out there. So I was excited to see some of the younger guys moving around and pick up uh, some of the things that you know I taught some of them, you know, during the uh, during summer. What have you seen some of the developments, let's say, between where you left off in spring with the whole secondary? Uh, a lot more communication. A lot more um, people more comfortable in the defense, I shall say. So. It's a lot of calls being made from safety position to the linebackers and to the corners just to get everybody lined up a certain way. I feel like um, that was the, that's the biggest thing. You can't play the defense without communicating. So that's going forward is going to continue to improve. That's one thing Coach Rose has been emphasizing in the rest of the uh, defensive coaching staff. What kind of progress has Quentin Lake made? Quentin Lake, that's my guy. He's been making a great, great strides for it. All he has to do is play, continue to play with confidence and continue just to, you know, trust in him, himself. He's a very talented um, young man. And moving forward, I'm looking, you know, be happy to play with him and whoever whoever is next to me, you know what I mean? So, um, like I said, he's making great strides uh, forward. He's a guy that listens. You know, if I have something to tell him or if Coach Rowe has something to tell him, you know, he tunes in and listens to that. And that's great to see from the young guys. Does the move to the 3-4 have any impact on the secondary at all? Or, or is your job's kind of the same as the previous day? Um, the linebackers will, you know, I feel like schematically it's a 3-4 and it kind of sometimes looks like a 5-2. So the run run game is, um, as I've seen so far, has been efficient. And that frees us up in the back end to roam around, me especially, um, roam around and make plays in the passing game and in the run game too. How would you describe kind of the mentality of this team as you open up training camp under a new coach, kind of trying to bounce back from some lean years now? Um, togetherness and just really believe in, you know, the coaches that, you know, they're going to take care of us and they're going to make sure that um, we are good to go as far as, you know, our body, our training, our, you know, fueling, eating and stuff like that. So just believing in them and believing in, you know, that process of going about this training camp the way they are is my, it's a different um, training camp as far as scheduling. So just getting adjusted to the new scheduling that they have and um, understanding the reason why they are scheduling the way they are. What has Coach Rhodes done to bring your game along to help develop your game? Constant meetings. You know, he's constantly teaching me.